Mark Zuckerberg pissed off the entire internet the other day um, when he made these comments about the Holocaust. There's a set of people who uh, deny that the Holocaust happened, yes, right? I find that deeply offensive. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I, I don't believe that our platform should take that down because I think that there are things that different people get wrong. Um, either, I, I don't think that they're intentionally getting it wrong, but I think but that in they... In case of the Holocaust um, deniers, they might be, but go um, ahead. It's, it's hard to yeah. impugn intent mm -hmm. um, and to understand the intent. Yeah, so um, Twitter started dunking on him and it, mainstream media started covering it and saying, oh my goodness, I can't believe he said that. Um, I can't believe I'm about to do this because nobody dislikes Mark Zuckerberg more than I do. But I don't even think what he's saying is controversial. <laughs> His point is, yeah, Holocaust deniers exist. And basically he's saying, I guess some of them might have bad intent in that they're malicious and they know they're lying when they put out those Holocaust denier views. Um, but yeah, there are plenty of Holocaust deniers who actually believe that the Holocaust didn't happen. So in other words, it's not like their intent is bad, that they like, they actually think it didn't happen. They are totally in that mindset and it's not nefarious in that it's like, Mwahaha, I will now lie about the Holocaust because I know it happened and I will pretend like it didn't happen. No, a lot of them are like, no, seriously, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. And let me explain to you how it didn't happen. So I don't, he, that's what he's saying. He's saying there's some Holocaust deniers who are actually Holocaust deniers. And I don't think Facebook should pull down Holocaust denial comments just because I happen to find that deeply offensive. And I think it's factually wrong. Where's the scandal? <laughs> I don't see a scandal at all there. But it's almost like since he brought up the Holocaust and it wasn't pure, unequivocal, unadulterated outrage, you know, like throw logic out the window, just go nuts and be like, oh, that's, they're so stupid and wrong. And yeah, we're going to pull down their comments and yeah, we're going to send fucking police to their house or something, man. Since it wasn't like nothing but outrage, people were like, oh, I can't believe he said that. But here's the thing. Look at how this is manifesting, man. This is manifesting as yet again, another round of begging social media oligarchs to do more censorship. That's what this is. That's how this is manifesting. People are like, and, and by the way, I also happen to disagree with what he went on to say, because he goes on to say, oh, that's why we're not going to ban the Holocaust deniers. We're just going to like hide their shit with an algorithm. No, that's actually too hard on them. <laughs> why? Because in the real world, Holocaust denial shit it's not going to rise to the top anyway. You don't need the algorithm to, you know, push that to the bottom because people will push that to the bottom regardless of the algorithm. Because then what happens? Okay, now anything that involves uh, the Holocaust, white supremacists, neo-Nazis, no, nah, we're going to, we have to put, the, because the algorithm, we're going to push that to the bottom. Okay, then what happens when like Charlottesville happens and there's uh, white supremacists marching, chanting Jews will not replace us chanting white lives matter, saying we want to keep up this confederate monument, doing hateful rhetoric all over the place, it, they ran over a, a peaceful protester with a car, what happens when an outlet like mine covers that incident to say, this is fucked up, this shit is wrong, these people are stupid, here's why they're stupid, here's my detailed breakdown, but guess what? The title of the video happens to say neo-Nazi in it, because that's the topic I'm fucking talking about. Well, the algorithm's not smart enough, so boom, that gets pushed to the bottom, and, you know, there's an there's effective censorship of people talking about these issues, even if they're on the right side of the issue. So that's what drives me nuts, is that they don't, people are acting like unintended consequences are not a thing when it comes to social media algorithms. When that is like the main thing, the main thing. Remember fucking the adpocalypse and how horrible it was? Now, thankfully, we're not on a blacklist anymore in terms of ad revenue, but there's still a permanent 50% or so cut because this is the, the mantra, this is the ethos that has won out. The idea of like, well, obviously, you should take off the Holocaust deniers, you should take off the Alex Joneses, the Infowars, the stuff that's so fringy and out there. You need to fight fake news, so get rid of it. That's what so many people are putting out there. And then now we're relying on Mark Zuckerberg to say, no, 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 that's too far. We're not going to pull it down. 
let's just totally deprioritize it and derank it and hide it. Which again has unintended consequences. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? That if you don't use the algorithm to put down Holocaust denial, that somehow, you know, in like four years, 92% of the population is gonna be like, you know, that Holocaust seems like bullshit. That's not gonna happen! <laughs> That's not gonna happen! I can't believe we have to have these discussions, and I can't believe I'm fucking defending Mark Zuckerberg. When, by the way, Mark Zuckerberg is still wrong in the idea that the algorithm should deprioritize that shit. Let it all out there. Total free exchange of ideas. Usually, the good ideas beat the bad ideas. Sometimes that's not the case. But as a general trend, as a general rule, yes, the good ideas beat the bad ideas. It's very, very, very rarely is there not something that happens where there's like a wisdom of the crowds. You know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes it's not perfect. But, you know, it's better than any fucking social media oligarch is going to do. So, it... it I, again, I can't believe we have to have this conversation. And I can't believe their outrage was like, like, whoa, what do you think? Fucking Mark Zuckerberg's a Holocaust denier? Is that, like, the heart of what these people are getting at? Or that he's sympathetic to Holocaust? No! Listen to what he fucking said! It's not even controversial. Holocaust denial is ter terrible and wrong and really offensive, but I don't think we should pull it down, and some of them actually mean it when they deny the Holocaust. It's not like they're all nefarious and that they deny the Holocaust, but they know they're lying. That's what he's saying. Sweet Jesus, outrage culture is so fucking annoying.